What's up everyone, this is Jesse in the auditorium. I reactivated game music for the first time. Today is Return of Mega Man. This is Mega Man 8. I don't know if this is a debut. I don't know if I've done 8. I'll look it up in the meantime. But if you're watching this, which obviously you are, uh, this is me in the past, long, long time ago. Because uh, VGM Vibe 6 has already been completed and there were some songs that I didn't tell people that were gonna go in here, including this one. Uh, this is actually requested by uh, Mr. J Hound and Babe Ruthless. Thank you very much. This is Frostman theme. Parentheses Ice Stage. Just before I get started, I just want to say this like this pose is like the hardest pose I've ever seen in my life. It looks like the cover of like an XXL magazine in like 1995 or something. I don't know. I'm just throwing a random year, but like this is hard <laughs> don't know the composer uh the channel is citabel and uh i don't think i've done mega many but either way it's always fun hearing cold and ice and snow themes so this is frostman theme from I don't know what that is, but that's the yeah. uh Oh the hey, is going up. I'm listening, I'm just seeing if I done Mega Man for Mega Mini. Debut. I really need to listen to more Mega Man, dude. I've said this every time there's a Mega Man video, I say this. I need to listen to more Mega Man. Wow, it's like, it sounds like triumphant, yet kind of, um, what I'm thinking of here. It's chill, I guess. For lack of a better word. Which is kind of fitting, actually. Wait to see footage of this game, which I'm going to pretty soon. Love a fade out. You know what? You hear one something? Do you want to hear something dumb that I heard the other day? That I couldn't say that for some reason. <laughs> uh, I don't know where I saw this. Uh, probably TikTok. Actually, now to think about it, it was it was like. Younger person had to, had to have been no much older than like twenty one or something. Basically, they were uh, making fun of how musicians in the eighties and nineties and prior used to like fade out the music of their songs as if that's a weird, cringy decision. Um, first of all, I'm pretty sure this song probably doesn't fade out like that. This is probably just for YouTube. But I just thought that was like. I don't know, it's like one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. <laughs> I think that just kind of goes to show you how like music is nowadays, how it's uh, pretty much made for like a very short attention span and uh, how an artistic choice of fading a song out could be considered like weird or bad. Anyways, I've always loved them. <laughs> Rant over. So... Mega Man, let's talk about Mega Man as a whole first, because Mega Man is one of the, I would say one of the catalysts to me doing this whole series, right? Before, when I was just uploading like guitar videos only, or, you know, when I had the idea, the, the, the you know, it popped into my head, I'm like, I should just listen to like songs that 
I haven't heard from gamers. Me thinking at the time that would only be like a few, like maybe 50, 100 something videos. Yeah, no, that that ship sailed. But Mega Man was one of them. You know, I've always been curious of Mega Man, Pokemon, Sonic, uh, Nintendo stuff, Zelda, stuff like that. And the more, and you'd, you'd think I'd heard, I would have heard a lot of Mega Man by now for me, you know, thinking that, but I've always done requests and, you know, so I don't, I don't just like get to choose what song comes on here. And every time it comes on, no matter if it's from like X6 or X or two or eight, I'm noticing a pattern here. And that is that all the soundtracks I think are just going to be phenomenal. Although something I haven't heard yet, maybe because I haven't asked yet, but I'm surprised it hasn't come up yet. So maybe, maybe it doesn't exist. But there's one thing that is unanimous across Sonic and Pokemon. I always, those two, I always see these and that's like, no matter how bad the games are, the music is always amazing in those games, which I can't really agree on because I've never played the games, but I, I'll take your word on that because I've always said that the music from those are awesome. Now, when it comes to Mega Man, no one ever mentions like a bad game. So I guess this is my asking without asking. Is Mega Man the same way or is it the chosen one and all the games are good and all the soundtracks are good. Just curious because there's not a lot of games you can talk about that have been around for, you know, 30 plus years and I feel like they've earned their stripes in a way. It always has looked fun and appealing to me. I've always wanted to try X and um, not too long ago, I heard Chill Penguin stage, which is also pretty relevant to this video. And in that video, I said something along the lines of I've only heard of Central Highway before the auditorium. Like I just heard it somewhere and I don't remember exactly where. And then I said, there's some other songs too that I heard, but like don't, like I haven't heard them properly or all the way through. I've just kind of heard them. And it wasn't until the comments kind of reminded me of what those were. And that was Storm Eagle, Armored Armadillo, and God, there's another one. I just can't remember right now. Mm. But whatever. But those I've heard, I've heard, and but that's kind of the reason why I was so interested, like I said earlier, in the soundtracks of Mega Man is because of those songs that I heard. Central Highway, Armored Armadillo, and Storm Eagle, and whatever the other one is I can't think of right now, and I'm going to have to look it up. But that's why, you know, that's why I was interested, because I've heard those. But now that I've heard a handful of Mega Man, I'm looking up the other video I did. I'm watching a video of myself while I record a video of myself. That's, that's interesting. But yeah, dude, Mega Man stuff is just... Okay, actually, let me let me talk about the song, the song, right? So at this point, the video of VGM Vibe 6 is already completed. And, you know, I talked about basically ice stages. I had a couple of guests on there and I was really cool. Uh, as of me recording this, that episode has not aired. So I don't know how people react to that. I don't know how the reception will be, but hopefully it's cool. But um, big thank you to everyone that like helped on that, especially Babe Ruthless and everyone else. It was an uh, honor. This song has what I actually, this, this is kind of the, kind of on the button actually of icy stuff. I don't know if it's mostly snow filled here or cold, but for ice, you know, it's, I kind of left the door open for all three of those because they're all pretty much the same to me. But to me, this is kind of what I think of when I think of ice. So whether it's one of the other two or not, this to me has a very icy feel with the percussion just kind of being hit, like a reverb hit. And um, dude, the bass, like, I think, I think the bass is something that I really never paid attention to in Mega Man, but I'm really starting to, to notice because there seems to be an energetic level with Mega Man music all the time. Like there's always this, even, even in like chill, cool songs like this, even though it is like, you know, kind of calm, they're still do, 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 you know, it's, it's interesting how that works. So actually, I'm, so now I'm actually really curious because like, I asked this in the Chill Penguins song, is there a really like mellow song in Mega Man? This is mellow and chill, but you know, the bass is kind of going crazy, which is awesome. But I'm, now I'm just really curious, do they ever like tone it down just for, 
pipe. I mean, I guess just to do it. Man, how many ice stages are there in Mega Man? Maybe it's like Sonic, where they where Mega Man just kind of goes everywhere, and multiple times. I can't find it. Whatever. I'm assuming this is the uh, boss for the ice stage, which seems to be a pattern that I've noticed in Mega Man. It's like a, a stage, and then like a boss at the end of it. Pretty straightforward. And I, I noticed besides the like the super hard pose is like his whole body looks like an igloo. <laughs> kind of looks like um, a Transformers as well. I cannot think. Dude, my brain is just going out. I cannot think of the uh, the main character <laughs> Transformers. <laughs> Everyone's typing it right now, but little do they know I'm gonna also look that up. Oh my God, something Tron. Optimus Prime. Did I say Tron? I'm going to make sure to cut that out. I'm just kidding. I don't care. Optimus Prime. Yeah. Oh, oh, and one more thing I wanted to mention about Mega Man that I've noticed is that it's super colorful, dude. Like, the vibrancy of, like, both the music. I think everything in general. The whole thing about Mega Man is that it just pops. Everything is very, you know, really in your face. The color palettes, the particle effects, everything just seems really vibrant. Which I guess leads to another question before I get out of here. Have they gone the dark route? Have they done a, you know, like a dark Mega Man, a le like less colors and, you know, something like that? Or have they pretty much stuck to their formula since the beginning? Let me know. Anyways, that is Frostman theme. That was uh, pretty damn good. That's one I have to hear multiple times because I feel like it just like whizzed past. It was so quick. But I'm just imagining, you know, hearing all the sound effects with that playing. And luckily enough, I get to see the footage of it pretty soon. I am hoping there's ice in it, but we'll see. To me, it just sounds like uh, more ice than anything else. Okay, the debut of Mega Man 8, and hopefully not the last time. At this point, I've done, I don't even know. I don't even know. X, X6, 8... Yeah, no. I'm not, at this point, I have to like maybe make a playlist, but there's not enough, unfortunately. Anyways, Mega Man rules. Thank you, Babe Ruthless. Thank you to Mr. J Hound, and thank you to all my patrons here. I couldn't be here without them. Thanks to uh, everyone who supported and voted on VGM Vibe 6. Thanks for three years. Blah, 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 blah. Until next time. Oh, check out uh, J uh, Babe Ruthless channel. I totally forgot, you know, totally forgot to plug that in. I will see you all in the next video. My name is Jesse. Peace.